So this morning I thought I'd address an issue that often comes up with a lot of my students. So the majority of people who come to do the course uh, somewhere down the line have asked me the question or somebody else has told them that one of the reasons that I trade full time is that prior to being a full time trader I'd built, operated and sold a number of successful businesses. And once they find that information out and they're on the course, you know, the question is generally asked, how did you do X, Y or Z? Because I think often, particularly with uh, younger people, so by the time they get out of university, so like 24 to 35 year olds, uh, searching for answers really and it's a double-edged sword in today's society. We've got so much information that it's difficult to know what to believe in and it's quite confusing and it's just difficult to have any faith in anything because there's just so much conflicting information. And largely that's because you know, everybody's got their own story. Everybody's been on their own journey. And what works for you might not work for me and vice versa. So I'm going to put this out there. So what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to simplify the whole area of self-development and how you can use it to learn to trade, build a business, have successful relationships, whatever it is you want to do. I'm going to boil it down to its very basics. So there are only really three things you need to do. So I'll, uh, I'll start by just separating it out. So there's three things that you need to do to be successful. So which brings you to the, the first question. Well, like what is successful? Well, again, your definition might be different from mine. But my definition is that I can do what I want, when I want, with whoever I want. So that isn't necessarily defined by money or cars or status. It could be. But it's, for me, it's I can do what I want, when I want, with who I want. So to become successful, I think that you've got to do three things. The first thing is you need to make some peace with your past. So if you've got excuses that, you know, your dad wasn't nice to you or your uncle Billy took you off into a camper van one summer, or whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. You need to reconcile a past. And the way you reconcile a past is you forgive whoever it is you blame for anything. Now, there's got to be a spectrum of things you're going to need to forgive. Some things, when you actually take a step back, should be fairly obvious that you need to forgive. So, uh, for example, you've had some petty argument with your brother or sister 20 years ago. You haven't spoken since. That should be an easy one. You, know, you need to forgive that person and you need to out that by telling them that you forgive them. And it's important to stress, you're not forgiving the person for their benefit. You're forgiving the person for your benefit because it's holding you back. So forgiveness isn't about the other person, it's about you. So you need to deal with your past. And preferably, if it's a really serious issue, put it in writing and send it to the person. So if they're halfway across the world, 
you know, you've got to mean it, write it down, send it to them. So that's a very brief overview of the first thing I think you need to do. Why do you need to do this? Because it's your brain and your decision making capabilities that are, is responsible for your outcomes in the future. So if you're constantly thinking about the past and blaming the past for your present, you're never going to get to where you want to go. The second thing you need to do is what you'll see in a lot of spiritual texts, which I don't really enjoy, which is to deal with the now, live in the now. And what I mean by live in the now is you need to be happy with what you've got and where you are. Be happy with what you're doing right now. Make peace with it. So if you're in a job that you don't particularly enjoy, just resolve to be happy and grateful for the job you've got now and the people you've got in your life. And the things that you own, the car you drive, the holidays you take, etc. Just be happy with where you are now and be grateful. Which doesn't mean settle for what you've got. It just means to improve things. I'm going to get rid of the past, which gets rid of all the negative energy from your past, which frees up some of your brain, basically relaxing your brain. When the brain's stressed, you don't make good decisions. So we get some rid of some of that stress by getting rid of your past or, or resolving your past. We live in the now because that's all you've got. Living in the future is a future that doesn't exist. And that's stressful. So again, we're getting rid of stress. And we're happy now because whatever happens in the future, we'll be happy now and happy in the future. If you can't be happy now, Trust me, you're not going to be happy in the future. And part of that process is being grateful for the things that you've got now. And you have to practice those things. And I'll talk more about that in a short while. We need to create good habits. And the third thing we need to do is we need to have a clear vision of where you want to go. And it needs to be clear enough and specific enough that you can see it in your mind's eye. You can describe it. And you need to spend any time you find yourself thinking about other things, bring it back to this vision. Hone in on this vision and these goals, these specific goals. And create a positive vision of where you want to be in the future. Okay, so the three things are resolve your past, be happy in the now, create a vision for where you want to be in the future. Now I mentioned habits, so let's rub all this now. So you've got essentially a, a working model for the brain can be thought of to be, consist in two parts. You've got the real old reptile part of the brain, which we can think of as the subconscious brain. And that deals with all the autonomic functions in the body. So this is linked to all the organs in the body, controlling your hormones, your heartbeat, your temperature, your breathing, and your auto automatic habits. So the subconscious is where all your habits are stored. And 95% of the time,
that's what's guiding us. Now we also have a conscious brain, which 5% of the time allows us the capacity of free will. Now we can use this for reflection, problem solving, mathematics, which is a good use for the conscious brain. But it's the subconscious that's taking control of your life the vast majority of the time. Which is why you can have conscious thoughts such as lose weight, but then go and eat 10 minutes later cookies. Because the subconscious brain, the habits, are hardwired in, into the stem of the brain, controlling the autonomic nervous system. So that leads us on to the question, how are habits formed? Well, you can consciously take control of the habit process. And part of that is when you relax, you have more access to the subconscious mind through repetitive suggestion, which is how hypnosis works. But essentially, habit is formed from a trigger, which triggers a routine, which ends up in a reward. And we can do two things. We can construct a habit, so we can create a trigger, insert a routine for a reward. So an example might be, put your running shoes out the night before, you, the night before you're supposed to go to the gym, which triggers the routine of going to the gym. And the reward is you feel good after the gym, maybe treat yourself to a coffee. And you can consciously construct new habits. Or we can take old habits and we can keep the trigger and we can put in new routines and keep the reward. So the whole, whole aim of the three things that I mentioned is to reduce stress. By reducing stress and understanding how habits are formed, we can repetitively create new good habits which control 95% of our direction in life. So that, that's how you get to where you want to go. So think of it in this way to bring this to a conclusion. So in step three, I spoke about a vision and goals and being specific. So if your goal is on a timeline, let's say this is five years away, in five years, you want to have enough money to go and live on the, in the Bahamas. That's your goal here in five years, is to be lying on the beach, retired. Now, as I said about success, it's whatever you want it to be. But let's say that's your goal in five years. You can work backwards. and can construct visions and goals that you focus on in your to create a subconscious version of your future. You can work backwards and deconstruct how you're going to get to this goal. So what you'd need to do by year four, three, two, and year one. And once you've got these goals, you can then break down the first year into months and you can break down further those months 
into weeks. And then you can break those weeks down into what you need to do on a daily basis. Knowing that if you just methodically step through each day's work, you're taking tiny, tiny manageable steps towards your year two goal, year three, year four, and then your end goal. Now, there is no way to circumvent this process. Anything good in life is going to take time, vision, and faith. You can't, you just have to relax and have faith in the process and do these small, tiny steps each day, knowing that if you just do each day's work, you eventually get to the, the year goal, and then you get to the two-year goal, and the three-year goal, the four and the five. There's no way around it. I can't give you, and nobody else can, I can't give you a process to go from here, day one, to the Bahamas in weeks. And the big issue I see out there is that people want to think that there is and they're prepared to pay other people thousands of dollars for some quick fix to go from here to here. And you can't, you just need to understand that you need to resolve your past, be happy now while you're doing this work and take these small incremental steps towards this vision that you focus on each day. And the further along this journey you get, the more confidence and the more faith you'll have in the process. So I hope that answers a lot of the DMs I get about, you know, how do I build a business? How do I learn to trade? How do I have successful relationships? There's no quick fix, but there is a process. If you have any questions, get in touch with me or drop it in the comments below and I'll answer.